fixing this is just a, another process. In terms of uh, real estate strategy, before I go into the slides, I'll just explain briefly how the return, how we execute this uh, real estate strategy return. We're looking at it in three different strands. We have a development strand, we have a subordinated debt strand, and we have an income, uh, an income strand. So in terms of our income strand, we target clientele who are looking, uh, we're, target, we're targeting investors who are looking for yield, yield investors, uh, yield investors who are with a target uh, yield of around 8%. These are high net worth investors. These are for income investment. And then for development strand, we are targeting institutional investors who are willing to take development risk in property. And then for our third strand, it's a subordinated debt or property debt exposure. Here we are looking for investors who are, are yield investors but want debt exposure in the property segment. So in terms of our strategy, we are, we, we are following a thematic approach. And the thematic approach feeds into a development strand. So in East Africa, or in major urban areas in uh, East Africa, we have identified some particular problems with uh, some suggested solution and the opportunity for us as investors. So Nairobi and most urban centers are suffering from urban sprawl. This is the development of ad, ad hoc structures. So the possible solution is to develop, come up with master plan communities. So it, it presents an opportunity for landowners and investors. You can buy large tracts of land to develop mini cities. Second problem. The demand for retail and entertainment uh, by the middle class and youth is growing with limited options currently available. So there's a lifestyle element that is missing from the current offerings in the East African market. For this, the opportunities in suburban and outlet malls. Thirdly, there's growing uh, small businesses that wish, and uh, there's demand for commercial space for growing middle to small businesses that wish to entire buildings. For this is commercial mixed use. So here we are looking at uh, retail, offices, and residential. And then for, uh, for uh, there's uh, also growth for SME, great SMEs that require office space, the particular opportunities for commercial office parks. So in terms of our development strands, we have identified four particular themes. Underlying that, these are under, uh, underlying the themes is demand. So we are answering a problem in the market. To support our three strands, we have products that I mentioned. We have the property fund, and we have a sublimated debt fund. For the income, uh, for investors who are looking for income exposure, we have uh, LNP partnerships, uh, limited ability partnerships, and we have REITs in the process of setting up and listed REITs. In terms of capability, we have in, uh, in house property management capability, where we have, uh, we're going to take building, uh, building management and leasing through one of our subsidiary REMA properties. In terms of research, we usually issue a quarterly research in property. Development and project management, we have two subsidiaries or two related entities, retail properties and uh, housing finance, and also a third a related entity, Equal. And we also have a, a fundraising, we have an in house business development team. So this is a summary of 
or three strands. So for investors who are looking for development exposure, we can expose them to the origination, master planning, and the development phase for development. The return is usually higher at this particular case. And how we manage the risk, we partner with return properties and housing finance. And we have a track record. Kenya Building Society and Britain Properties have experience in the property segment. Let's, uh, let's take the risk exposure. This is where we have the subordinated debt fund and the income fund, where we have a track record of actually unitizing a building and selling, selling it in the Kenyan market, uh, which is Langata House. So in terms of our income strand, as investment managers, we have a, a clear investment process. We have a sourcing, where we originate the deals through uh, our various relationships. We are talking about banks, pension funds, real estate owners, and insurance uh, companies. We are to undertake an analysis of the properties. And here we have a target yield of 8% in dollar terms. And we look for five, uh, uh, releases uh, which, uh, five year, uh, length of five years. We present it to an investment committee. Due diligence are closing, and post closing, we have an asset management phase where we intend to, uh, to build or to increase the value of the underlying asset. And it takes, this takes three months from sourcing to closing. In terms of development uh, finance invest investment strategy, we have the origination phase where we acquire land and conduct diligence. For us, since we are approaching it using a thematic approach, we do not just acquire any piece of land. We have identified uh, locations within Nairobi, like the Nairobi metropolitan area and within the various uh, cities in East Africa. Guiding our acquisition of land uh, with each location we identify, we develop a high, uh, what you call a highest and best use to, to, guide, uh, to guide our decision making. Post acquisition, we develop a business case. Right now we have developed business case for retail malls, for commercial offices, and mixed use development. Post business case, uh, we go into a pre-development phase and actual development for the properties, which is followed by an exit. So for a development strand, we look to participate in the origination, business case, pre-development, development and exit. The, in the origination and business case, we depend on our partners. Here we have uh, KBS, Kenya Building Society, we have Econ, and we have Britain Properties. And also in the preparation of the business case, we, de we depend on our three partners. So in terms of the, how we participate in the capital structure of property, as a rule of thumb, uh, the total development value of a project is usually 10 times the value of the land. So, 10 plus, uh, so in the capital structure, the land is half of this, which is 10%. And then an equivalent cash equity, equivalent to the value of the land, that makes it 20%. Then we also have a subordinated debt, which is equal to the value of the land and, uh, and cash, which is 20%, an additional 20%, followed, uh, topped up by debt, which is 60%. So we look to participate in the, in the entire capital structure, where we have Britain properties can be the land owner, our property fund, we provide the cash. Our subordinated debt fund, we provide the mezzanine financing for the for, for NES fund. And through our partners, equity bank and housing finance, we look to provide the senior debt. And, it, and then in terms of exit, we have our LLP and REITs fund and other income funds. In terms of our products, we have an income fund, bank property LLP, with a minimum investment of around 70,000. It's a 
There were fund managers, that's obvious. All candidates in Kenya, in the target idle carbon uh, rate of 15%, with an performance fee of 25% of the return above the hundred rate, with a, uh, with a cash on cash target uh, yield of 6% net in dollars, with quarterly distribution. We also have a development fund, domicile here in Mauritius, focusing on commercial real estate, master plan communities, mixed development. The size of the fund is 125 million with a 10 year fund life. And investment state that it focuses on is the development capital to master plan and deep development. So a quick recap. We are leading fund managers with aspirations to be the best in the region. We boast strong expertise, infrastructure products and global reach. There's a huge market opportunity in real estate. And we have a forecast strategy coupled with a rigorous investment approach. And we have strong, well-known strategic partners.